What's up beautiful people? It is Rav. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. So I had something happen last night. Everybody that... Do you like it when I talk with my hands? Like I said before in another video, I didn't even take a class for this. Anytime I post this truck, my Snap-on truck on social media, immediately, especially if it's one of the Facebook groups, immediately everybody goes to, oh my God, that tool truck looks so cool. Be careful, bro. It's going to be broken into any minute. Uh, I've been in this truck for four months. It's not been broken into. It's a fortress. There's one way in. Uh, there's one door that they could pop. And if they pop it, they're going to have to bust off the top lock. And then they're going to have to somehow drill out the deadbolt. I don't know if they want to go through all that trouble. And then if they do br draw out the dead, or let's say they just don't do that, they decide to bust out the window in the one door. If they bust out the window, they're going to need a ladder to climb up into the window, and then they'll need a ladder to get out. Well, I don't even know how they would do that. Anyway, I was down in San Diego a while back, and I was parked down on the port, and there was a couple in a sprinter that was in front of me. And I saw them, we were there like on a Friday night, I saw them get out and walk towards downtown San Diego. Uh, or to get an Uber to go to downtown San Diego. I took my electric bike to downtown San Diego. I came back and there was cops there uh, and their door, their sliding door was open and they had literally, somebody had broken into the Sprinter that was parked right in front of me and literally robbed it of everything. They took the big screen TV, they took everything. I mean, it was gutted. They took everything. My snowboard truck was right behind it. They didn't touch it. I'm sure they looked at it and went, how do we get in here? Oh, it's got a big ass alarm right there. Look, because if you look through the window, there's a great big ass alarm right there. That's a residential alarm for like a jewelry store that has motion detectors on the inside, motion detectors on the outside. I'm sure they got close enough to the door that the door started beeping at them, letting them know that they were being, they were there fixing to set the alarm off. Even it scares the cops away. I've had the cops come up to her with their flashlights. And once that alarm starts beeping at them because of the motion sensors on the back, they immediately take the flashlight away and run away. But what happened last night, the kids didn't set off the motion detectors and I heard something, but I wasn't sure what it was. And this is something that I have been worried that was gonna happen for some time since I've taken this new job because our offices, it's a garment, we're a garment manufacturer and our offices are not in the best part of LA. We're in a lower income area in LA. Um, a lot of people that don't speak English and this was something I was worried that was gonna happen and sure enough, it happened last night. So what this video is gonna be about is to see if I can take some acetone and get this stuff off without ruining my decals. Um, my snap-on decals that are vinyl. They did spray over those, so we're gonna see how well this works. But it is gra graffiti removal, which you saw by the thumbnail. We're gonna see if we can remove some graffiti that they tagged my truck with last night. Now, if you're in LA, you can get you can be ticketed for having tagged graffiti on your vehicle. Uh, you can be stopped and ticketed for this, or you can be towed. The reason is, is once they tag your vehicle, once a gang member tags your vehicle with their gang tag, another gang member will see that from a rival gang and they will have to tag it and tag over it. So it becomes this snowball effect. Only in LA, man, or only in these lower income areas do you really have to worry about this stuff. So I've got to figure out, it's really nice because I can park right here by work and literally get up and walk to work or do I drive out of here every night about five miles to another parking place I know about and then commute back in every morning. That's my dilemma. But anyway, without further ado, let's go see if we can remove some graffiti. So this is vinyl. So I would really like to not screw up my vinyl decals, but I'm not sure. You put an acetone on there, 
uh, if that's going to work without ruining my vinyl decals. But we're going to try to get this graffiti off. Sorry about the ice cream truck. Uh, you can hear the ice cream truck music. Sorry about that. I can't tell them to leave. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to try to remove this that's not on the decal, like over here, and see how well that works. All right, we have our acetone and just a microfiber rag. Whew, strong. So as you can see it's coming off but the problem is it's just leaving like the black residue so we're gonna have to try to get that it's just basically smearing everywhere like a magic marker so that's why we have these blue paper towels and that's what I was afraid of it's actually staining you can see it's actually staining there. perfect but we got it off all right we got it all off uh, yeah it's not perfect by any means but we got the tagging pretty much gone uh, it kept spreading everywhere I can figure out what was going on that's because it was literally taking the ink off of the stickers and putting it on transferring it onto the paint you can see up here it came off of the traditional so pretty much it damaged the stickers a lot but we got the graffiti off so that's the most important thing it is what it is. The most important thing is we got the graffiti off, which I wanted off immediately. That happened as, as soon as I saw it. It's taken a couple hours to get it off, but I went right and got the stuff to get it off. See, this is the stuff I don't get. I mean, this is a nice building, but I mean, there's just trash, furniture on the, on the sidewalk. From a distance, it looks great. When you get close to it, there's some damage. But we got it off, so now we can go back to work. Even the uh, fire hydrants aren't safe in this neighborhood. Everything's got to have graffiti on it. Dang tags, homie. All right, guys, we did get the graffiti off. Uh, it wasn't the best job. It's not perfect. Uh, the paint itself actually came off pretty easy, which I was relieved. But the problem I ran into is it actually started uh, taking the paint off of my decals. So those are vinyl decals. Uh, they're very high-end snap-on decals, but the, uh, you know, it, the spirits just kind of, like if I rubbed across the red decal, the red would come right off on the paint. I went across a blue decal, the blue all started rubbing off on the paint. And then once it rubbed off on the paint, it was hard to get off. So that was the problem I ran into. Uh, if you have graffiti that gets sprayed onto your truck and you don't have decals, just a little acetone, microfiber rags, 
and it should come right off for you guys. Uh, it's very frustrating. I have no idea why kids do this. I know it's a gang tagging thing. They're marking their territory. So it's my fault for getting my truck getting tagged for being in this area. Unfortunately, we're a garment manufacturer and cheap labor, so you end up in these I don't know how to what how should I frame this so it's not racist or and so it's politically correct. This is a very uh, there's not a lot of people that speak English in this neighborhood. It's an area you definitely will get your truck ta truck tagged. I spent whole weekend in Hollywood, didn't even worry about that. It is something I worry about in this neighborhood. I don't understand it. It's a mentality that I will never understand, so I'm not going to try to get off on a rant on that. Uh, but hopefully I helped you. If you have graffiti on your truck or if somebody graffitis your truck or graffiti something, a little bit of acetone and a microfiber rag and uh, you got to be liberal with it. I mean, I kind of burned my hands up uh, and I would use gloves, but rubber gloves, I don't think you want to use those because I think the acetone would melt right through the gloves. So I just used my hands. I had acetone all over my hands. But honestly, I was more uh, worried about getting the paint off than my hands. And as soon as I got in here, I went straight to the restroom and washed my hands really good with some good uh, antibacterial soap, which I don't know if that means anything, but just washed my hands really, flushed them really good. And they're a little tingly, but they're fine. We got the graffiti off. I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as my dilemma of staying in this neighborhood or leaving at night and the commuting back in here in the mornings. I got here again probably about 4.30 this morning and I thought I would be fine, but evidently I wasn't. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and it'll give you a new notification every single time I upload a new video. And remember, guys, if you can't be good, at least be good at it. Peace. We'll see you next video, guys.